What's going on, people? Today I want to talk about, as you can see what the title is, why is iPads and tablets are so damn high? Why is tablets and iPads are so damn high? I went into that place. I ain't been up here in probably almost a, I don't know, shit. It's been probably almost a year. It's been months since I've been back there uh, in that place. They say uh, iPads or what you call tablets or MacBooks and phones. That's what they sell in that. Phones, like phones, you know, iPhones and uh, Samsung's uh, tablets and all that type of stuff, different prices. But when I looked at them, I asked them, was they used? They said no. So I said, okay, well, that's a good thing. So <clears throat> my next thing is, just because, look, and I made a video about this several months ago. I, you, you get it that you got people in the company that's trying to, I'm, I'm going to make this video about, because we are living in, in a society like that. I'm going to make it about racism. No, I'm not making it about racism. It is racism. It's racism. It's really all about racism. That's what it is. I'm going to say it like that. And living in this society as a black, Hispanic, and Native American man, yes, it is. Because you know what? Racism is, in other words, you have to pay for something. Anytime somebody has the power to create something and then tell you how much to pay them or you don't get it, what is that? That's Racism means control. It means power, control. You have control over something. It means you have the, uh, the authority is, is to say what goes and what can't go. Now, you're living in the land of your, we're living in the land of our enemies. We got to pay for stuff, right? So, when you look at the companies, the people that shift these things, the people that uh, make the products, right? They, they, it's like they want they cut their money part and when they making those things, they want their money's worth and this and that and the third. So by the time the stores get them, they like, damn, I had to pay so much money, more than what I'm charging the people for to get these iPads in here. You see what I'm saying? More, I had to pay more just to buy the products to be able to sell them. They look at it like this in. It takes money. You got to spend money to make money. Okay, this is how everything is set up. You see what I'm saying? But... Somebody who is who is in power, they, whoever it is that, that controls the prices and the person that's responsible for it, they can have mercy. They can choose to have mercy up on blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people because they have to realize that this is our world. But since they took everything from us, then therefore they 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 behind them things they charge what they want you see what i'm saying um and things and so on and so forth and i still think that the the damn price is what i really wanted to make was is that the damn prices cost just as much as rent I mean, that's really a damn house note or more that's a the money that they charging for tablets and stuff like that. They got one um, MacBook is eight hundred and fifty, fifty five or fifty some dollars, over fifty some dollars for just for a, a, a big MacBook. Now, I'm like, come on now. You know, Esau is something else when it comes to prices and and things of that nature. I think they abuse that. Not, not I think they do. They abuse this money, the money, the prices. They abuse that. It's just a shame. A damn, the prices that they charge you for that is the problem. That's the same amount of price that they would charge you. They charge you more for a tablet and a pro MacBook, a computer. Then they probably do put you putting down on a house or something. You putting down on a house, property and house, would probably be less than that. Although the taxes are high, they make them like that though. Esau, got, the white man, they got control of all of that. It's just a damn shame. That doesn't even make any sense. 
is to have tablets that just cost that much like that. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, you want to make your money, but you want to be fair because not everybody can afford that. You see what I'm saying? Some people probably want it. Like, I ain't going to lie, I do. But I can't afford that. Hell, it take it takes more of your more of your rent to live. It takes the money that you have. It takes your rent mostly takes up that. And by the time you get that out the way, you pay your light bill, and some of us paying water bill and things of that nature. Shit, you can't even buy food or groceries. You go in there, look. The what they selling for those iPads and phones and stuff back there is more than a grocery bill and a light bill. A grocery bill and a light bill is not even that high. So really, if you paying for an iPad and a, a and a tablet or a MacBook or whatever, by the time you pay for a damn MacBook, you can't even pay your rent. You'll be outdoors trying to uh, buy that shit. You got to re- a black, Hispanic, and Native American person got to be really. You got to be rich. You got to be well off to be able to be able to afford that. Now, if everybody in, if if all of our people was uh, was well off and we had money like that, but see the thing, here's the thing, here's the catch. They always the lies that we was taught here in Babylon, America, America's Babylon, the lies that we was taught here, right? The lies that we were taught here, they talk about everybody's equal. How is everybody equal? You got some people that has, the white folks have all the money. Most of them have, they own all them businesses and stuff like that. Of course, that's like a piece of cake to them. They can go in the store and they can buy all that stuff. But we as blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, poor people, how in the hell is y'all going to, is the so-called white man going to say we're equal when we don't even have equal rights to the money resources, the educational resources, uh, the merchandise, re- the merchandise, those are resources, merchandise like tablets, uh, resources of food. We don't even have money to even, we can't even afford it like that. You know what I'm saying? So how is they going to say that we all are equal? Because that's a lie. Everybody, the definition of equal is everybody being treated the same. But that's the lie that they sell us because that's what the, the devil does. The white man is, a, is the devil on the planet. You wonder why we call them the devil because they exhibited those characteristics. Yeah. They exhibit them characteristics. You got a group of people that can't afford to afford certain resources but you have this group of people that always have and was able to afford these resources you had a group of people with the characteristics of coming over here like and they 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 they, they took and they took this land raped robbed and murdered a nation of people and then they took and overthrew one people just to they they attacked one group of people which means they overthrow that people and exalted themselves now the people that exalts themselves and conquered this land raped robbed and murdered stole everybody's identity what nation of people that that we call with a start with a c caucasians we know who they are caucasians right people so-called white people those are the people that fit those identical marks that are in uh genesis 25 and, and, and Habakkuk 2 and 12 wore to them, them who builds up a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. That means they got this city through blood, killing and rape, robbing and murder. They got it. They didn't get it in an honest way. They didn't get it a godly way. They didn't come to say, we're going to bow to the Hebrew God. We're going to honor y'all God and we're going to ask y'all for these resources. No, they didn't do that. They came over here, raped, robbed and murdered and, 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 and took it. They robbed. That's why the Bible says in... Uh, Isaiah chapter 42, 22. This is a people robbed and spoiled. Robbed. Spoiled means that we are conditioned and brainwashed into accepting and, and, and being loving the same people that kill us and rape and rob and murder and kill us. 
that's what it means to be spoiled. You're spoiled. You've been damaged. You've been fucked up by the white supremacy, the slave master. So when people say things like we are all equal and this and that and the third, how is it that we're all equal and we got to work harder just to be able to afford a damn car to go to the store and drive to the store and buy bread? How in the hell we all are equal when you got a lot of us born into walking, a lot of us born into uh, walking, born into poverty, but you got a group of people that were born into wealth and everything, but they want to sit up here and say that we all are equal. How is that equal? How is it equal? When one group of people was oppressed because of another group of people conquered these people. And that's the people that conquered these people is right now is able to have a nice business like that. And one group of people is at the bottom because the Bible tells you that. One group of people is at the bottom. Another group of people is at the top. Yeah. That's, a, that's a, all praises. That black man that you can see them with something nice right there. But you never know how the hard work that he, he probably got to pay notes and stuff. You know, I'm not judging or nothing like that. But all praise. I love, I'm happy to see my brother driving and got him a nice car, even though he don't know who I am and what the hell I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? So it's rare you see our brothers with nice cars and nice homes. But I love to see that. It's what I'm saying. I love to see my brothers. And I mean that what I say when I say that, bro. I love that. All praises. And I pray that he, whoever he is, that he can, that he never suffer for nothing, no matter how old he get. Even though he don't even know I'm saying that. And he driving, just seeing me as a regular individual walking on the road. Yes. So my point is this here. The so-called white man, European, Eastern Europeans, and all those people, whatever they call this, they call themselves Eastern European because they went around the world and they conquered, raped, robbed, and murdered, and they renamed those masses around there and stole everybody's resources like they are today. They poison the damn water, telling you that it's illegal to catch water in the sky. You know why they're saying that? Because they ask, they know that water is good and it's natural. That's why they're doing that, because that's, they want to sell you a bullshit lie that it's illegal. How are you going to charge, tell somebody illegal to catch something that's free that God made? And you wonder why we call this man the devil. They poison the damn water in the zinc. So how are we going to look at that group of people and say these people have beautiful, nice, sweet characteristics? What's so nice and sweet about somebody poisoning your water to where you got to go and buy fresh water? What's so good about that? You tell me, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm right here in the comment section. I'll wait for you to put your comments. If I come to your house and pause in your water, what kind of godly person would I be? Would you still say, oh, that's a sweet person. Clarence came, Brother Ray came by and paused in my water. So, so, I can, so I have to go to the store and buy water. Tell me, does that make sense? If I pause in your damn water, I'm intending to harm you. Think about that. If I come to your house and I say I got love for you and I'm painting a picture to tell you that this enemy don't love you. Anytime somebody come and pours in water, pours in your water, and they still, you still want to embrace them and say, oh, these people got love for me? You are, the Bible tells you in Ezekiel, the whole head is sick. That means our people is sick, man. They, they are mentally destroyed through, by the slave mouse. That's what it means when it says the whole head is sick. Whole head is sick means you, you, you listen and you believe everything your slave master tell you. How is we are equal and you got some people literally living in low-income project apartments where it's violence at? You got these other group of people living over here in the neighborhood. You can damn near eat off the ground, look like the Garden of Eden, look like it never was tainted by sin. And that's so-called Caucasian people. We know that. So how is we all equal? That's not equal. When you got some people have to wear the same clothes every day, wash the same outfit, and then uh, uh, wash your shoes and stuff just to have something nice to put on. You don't, you don't really have money. You can't afford the prices that they heist it up, $5,000 for a damn pair of pants or expensive pair of pants. You're like, man, ain't got that kind of money. But 
these group of people that conquer the world, they can afford it all. Make that make sense. How is we equal? That's not equal. That's one group hates another group. The so-called white men have a natural hatred for our people. So don't come here telling me nothing about, oh, we all are equal enough. When you, you can clearly look in society, eat, you can walk the streets and you can clearly see that that's a lie. You can clearly see that. Anybody with, you just walk outside, even babies had got sense enough to know that. So stop lying to yourself and stop being, stop choosing to let somebody sit up there and brainwash you and get you a book or something, read it and open your mind up. Stop letting the enemy taint your mind with all these damn lies. All right, I'm out. I'll be back with another.